If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be doing my first shopping spree of Madden 22, guys. I had a pretty crazy pack opening earlier. If you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. Go check out the gameplay with Marshall. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys want to get shout out of the Poodle Squad shout out, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Today's shout out goes out to Tobias Ballister. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support. Now, guys, for today's shopping spree, we're gonna be getting as many legends as we can get. I spent some, I've already picked up some of their set pieces to show you guys. I'm gonna be creating them and making them all, guys. There's a bunch. Now, guys, right now it's a buyer's market. So personally, if I were you guys, I would head right to this auction block. It's finally unlocked. And here's the thing. Since it was locked for like close to, I'd say, not 24 hours, like close to like 18 hours-ish, people are hopping on there and selling everything they've accumulated. Like things are things are getting down now. I actually pulled Brandon Marshall. He's getting he's getting it close to 400K. I mean, he is the best wide receiver in the game by a large margin. I can see why. Ed Reed's crazy expensive. I definitely need Ed Reed. He's probably the best user in the game. So, but I just, I don't know if I can afford that price tag. But let's go check out the um some of these players here, guys. If you guys wanted right now, Aaron Donald, like Derrick Henry, Mahomes, like all these guys, like Jalen Ramsey, really cheap. So if you guys wanted an Aaron Donald card or one of those, I you could probably go invest in some of them. By the time you're seeing this, they could have went back up in price. Not sure. Uh Bruce Mathis at 150. That's kind of a steal right there, honestly. I just don't know if I need a 89 overall center at this point in the game, but he's good. But I'm gonna save this. I need the skill positions because honestly, my line's been holding up pretty well, quite honestly. Michael Strahan's super cheap. I have to imagine it's because people have uh the johnny the, the jack young blood like i have so that's probably why but he's really good i mean that power move and block is going to be really really crazy right now i think i'm I, I have the i'm going to do the set probably right now as well i may end up selling him i haven't decided yet. so i have aaron donald and jack young blood i'm not sure what route i'm going to go in there i may move donald down to defensive tackle but then i gotta power him up i really don't know which route to go here uh the most cost effective route of course is what i'm kind of aiming for here but as you guys can see there's a lot of stuff here it's definitely a buyer's market some of the other good ones down here, like Ed Reed, this his set piece is really expensive. Demarcus Ware, Demarcus Ware is good. Um, probably comparable to the Von Miller, I'd say. But the Von Miller does come with abilities. And uh, they didn't play too well from what I've heard from some people. But hopefully they will fix edge threat. Jesus, Bruce Matthews going crazy right now, guys. If you wanted to get a card right now, Bruce Matthews would be the cheapest legend you could probably get. There's some pretty good prices here. LaDainian Tomlinson's pretty expensive. Darrell Revis goes nuts on his price right now. Like his, his For like considering he's an 89 Darrell Reeves is crazy expensive as well. 330. But I think he's worth it. I honestly think he's worth it. I'm probably going to pick up Darrell Reeves as well. I'm going to start going through everything in just a second. The thing with Darrell Reeves, though, is you kind of have to power him up. So it's going to cost a little bit of money here. But I think it's, you know, it's Darrell Reeves. I'm a New York guy. I'm a Giants fan, but Darrell still holds a special place in New York's hearts, for quite honestly. So I think it's honestly worth it. He's going to be a 90 speed corner. You get the right strat card on him. You can keep him 91. He's got to be good for at least, I'd say at least a month or two, he's going to be good, right? at least usable at that overall i don't suspect legend overalls going up much for a while as well as many other cards really surpassing those overalls legends typically are some of the better cards in the game for quite a while so yeah let's get into this let's start let's just start going through it we have some stuff to go through so let's go to the sets guys i did pull some stuff i did buy some stuff coins are hard to come by right now so this is not easy to do honestly so you know if you guys can't afford some of these players i get it so I start with the Michael Strahan. We do have the second play. I did pick him up pre-video for you guys. So we're going to be picking up Michael Strahan as our first card here for the uh, for the day. Now, Michael Strahan, again, not the most expensive one, but he is really, really good. So I'm going to debate. I'm going to see how I can fit him into the lineup. I really, as a Giants fan, I really do want him. And again, he's going to be good for a while because although he's not the fastest, he has 80 speed and he's going to have a 90 block shed and 90 block shed and he's going to go ahead and get 90 power moves. So he's going to be a threshold guy. So that which means he's good for a while quite honestly so i really think i think he's a good i think he's a good buy like people don't always recognize that too they think that just because you know oh you know he's lower overall he's not fast enough, like you know he's not gonna last but having that threshold means he's gonna be good for a while regardless so i i could see him being good for a pretty good amount of time here so here we go for the final card now i would have rather have played the solo and saved the 11k but i'm already doing the video i want to get this out for you guys and of course, here's gonna come the expirations. Here we have Darrell, so we're gonna Darrell's gonna be nasty for a while. Like I said, I, I'm only gonna do the ones that I think are gonna be nasty for a while. I don't want to go ahead and pick up guys like let's say that I can only use for like a week or two. And I'm gonna want a new guy like United. I'm gonna want to replace right away. Bruce Matthews is good. I just don't justify that price for a center. So we got Darrell Revis now on the squad. I'm gonna open all these packs for you guys at the same time now. And next one I kind of want to work on here is gonna be that Reed. 
but I don't know if I can afford it. I'm not sure if I can afford this Ed Reed right now. I already have Brandon Marshall as well, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, the Ed Reed is going to be he's crazy. I, I, I'll go broke trying to get him right now, but I feel like I need him. So it's 190. Probably get like 180. Okay, I'm ready. I already can't afford it. It's 320 right there. I may be better off just selling my Ed Reed piece for now. Jeez, this card's expensive. No, I, I can't afford that right now. I mean, I think, you know, like I want to say he's not usable. I don't need him, but I need him, right? Ed Reed's going to be one of the best users for a while. But let's start with the cards that we have now. So we already have Brandon Marsh from the pack opening today. So that's one of my friends. That's a shopping spree, technically. I mean, I, I put some money into that card. We picked up this, let's see, our Michael Strahan right here. Super cool. Definitely a big, big Michael Strahan fan. Being a Giants guy, of course. Now, Michael Strahan is going to be great for the team. Like I said, he's going to have the attributes that you're going to need. I just got to see where I'm going to work him in. And I'm going to have to put a strategy card in because I don't want to power him up. I, I don't know if I want to power him. It's just training is hard to come by right now, too. And co coins are hard to come by. Powering up just isn't in the cards for a lot of people right now. So we got Legend Darrell Revis as well. The team has some holes. The team definitely has some holes. And I feel like I just filled that with Legend Darrell and Michael Strahan. Darrell's going to be long term as well. The thing is, I think I have to power up Darrell. So I'm going to power him up. Because if you don't power him up, you won't get the press, the zone, or the man. That's kind of what you kind of want all those things. And the speed at 90 plus the strat cards to get into 91 speed and everything. You kind of need to do all those things to get him up there. But he's going to be good. Darrell Revis is really great. He's going to have 90 change of direction. The juke. He's going to be good. I'd like to have ideally him and Dion. Uh, better Dion, of course, at some point. But press is pretty good this year if you have press. So I can definitely press this one. I got to see where the JC stands as well with that. Now, heading back to the mark, guys, we have some more holes. So defensively, we're going to need a linebacker, which just isn't in the cards, I think, right now in terms of... That honestly is going to be going ahead and just getting a budgety linebacker. Although I'm not, I haven't really decided on that one. You know, going back over to the 90 spot here. I mean, Brandon Marshall's going up in price quickly. Getting up to Reed territory. I mean, I wish I could sell him, but I need that card. He was great. He was great for me. So let's go back to the legends. See what we can find here as well. Let's check out. I kind of I mean, if Bruce Matthews gets low enough, he may not be the worst buy in the world, honestly. Uh, Mike Strand is getting pretty cheap. I don't think I want LT. My opinion on LT is simply this, is that my power-up Saquon kind of holds weight on him. Like, it's not that far apart. If you really look at it here, power-up Saquon. So he only has plus two speed on him, plus four Excel. A plus five carry. Remember, this is just power up Saquon. Saquon's about to get an 89 overall card. So when you compare them all, I'm pretty sure they're almost identical, except Saquon Barkley weighs more. He weighs more. Saquon Barkley's going to be 233. He's going to be one of the heaviest backs in the game that are actually usable, and they're going to have the same exact speed. Um, so I really just don't know if it's worth changing it up. And Saquon's going to be way more agile. He's going to be in the 90s for agility, which is pretty good as well. Saquon's going to be a better catcher. Um, Saquon should have better change of direction, if not the same. Trucking's going to be pretty close. I mean... Saquon's gonna be he's gonna be better in my opinion I think so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna rock with Saquon I don't think LT is a necessity but people are going crazy in LT I don't know I mean I guess because you technically don't get Saquon until next Friday that's probably oh my god I thought I saw it for 100 coins um so yeah we have Darrell we have Strahan I want that read I just there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford that today I'm gonna have to wait till that price comes down a little bit because that price is wild right now the Marcus where it could be good as well but I'm already having kind of a, a pass rush conundrum right now I'm really not sure in what direction I want to be going with that there's a lot. So let's check on the lower ones, of course, because there's some other cards you can still be getting right now. Jamar Chase, um, those are getting pretty expensive at this point. Let's sort by some elites here. I mean, I don't think I really want any base elites at this point. I mean, at this juncture, what base elites are left that you could really use? I mean, I already have Aaron Donald, who's kind of like the top one. Maybe maybe Von Miller could be pretty good as well. Let me check out the Superstar MVP cards. Looking through the market a lot, I'm not seeing much else that... Because I, I want to get that Ed Reed. So, I mean, so far we did pretty good though, right? So, I mean, off camera, like I said, I bought about like maybe five to seven pieces. So... We bought Darrell. Darrell's looking like 400k now. So to do the whole set was about 400k, give or take, right? So you look at that. That's about 400k right there. Um, Brandon Marshall's close to 400k as well, which with like 365, which I could sell as well. So that's 765 worth of pickups right there as well. And then Michael Strand's another like 180. So already we're near like 900k worth of pickups for the day. I'm looking up. I'm looking around still, but I'm not. I'm not seeing anything I really want to splurge on just yet. Like again, I'll make some investments probably later on. And guys that I think are gonna go up in price, but overall. I'm not seeing that one stand. Like I said, I don't want to go for another pass rusher until I know what I'm doing with the whole Strahan, um, Aaron Donald, and Youngblood situation. So I don't want to really get where. Bruce Matthews is just like, you know, it's a center. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's a good price for a really good center. Honestly, I'm, I'm debating it, but I, I, I need that Ed Reed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start picking up some pieces for that Ed Reed. Start sniping some of them out because that's clearly where I'm going to be going in the next direction. But that's just a lot. It's, it's a lot, right? But Reed's going to be that guy for a while. You're going to need good users, and there's not going to be many 90 plus speed safeties. And quite honestly, Reed's gonna be the he's gonna be the epitome of safety. Like he's gonna be good all year. He's close to 500k now. This is getting ridiculous. I wish I would have pulled him too. But 91, he's gonna have a zone threshold all year long. 
with speed and hit power. He's one of the best shooters in the game. Pretty much need Ed Reed uh, right now if you want to be like competing heavy, right? So yeah, I'm going to be saving the rest of these coins. I'm going to go, you know, snipe out some stuff, invest some stuff. That's pretty much wraps up the video, guys. I'm going to show you guys the pickups real quick. I mean, you guys saw them. Again, the worst shopping spree, don't like, don't take it the wrong way. Doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to buy a million things. I bought what I think I needed. I think I needed that Thorell. I wanted the stray hand. I have the Marshall now. So those are my three legends right there. And yeah, I mean, th th those are the guys. I mean, I, I picked up the Ed Reed 84 earlier as well. So that's kind of what I'm working with here. These are going to be the three guys on the team. Now, I do think I'm going to power Brevis. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with stray hand. I don't think I'll power Marshall. Um, the problem with Marshall is... He only has one thing out of threshold, really, that I really care about. It's the short running, right? Short out running is the only thing, which kind of does suck. But, I mean, I, I kind of want it. But if I get the right strategy card, I could potentially get him up to a 90 without it. I have to see what strategy cards I have, what I can get on there. But I'm, I'm debating it. I'm not sure which way I want to go with that just yet. But I don't think he'll be like a long... I don't think he'll be a card that I keep all year. I think he'll be a card that's going to be great for like two months at minimum, probably. A month and a half. But the thing is, I'm not sure how I feel about having him powered up all the way. Training's expensive right now. Um, I do think Darrell Revis needs that power up. He's going to be a lockdown corner for quite a while. And the sure hand, I don't think he's going to be on my team all year, although he's a giant. But I'm, I'm going to see what I do with that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap up the shopping store video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you guys like this kind of video and you want to see more and get kind of my thoughts on, you know, the market and what's going on, you know where to come. It's one of these videos. Let me know down below if you liked it. Smash the like button. If you guys need coins to pick up any players and go on your own shopping spree, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.